Hello, 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 my fellow engineers. Happy New Year to you all. 2021 starts with episode 2 of how to build a scalable Python application. Now, as I said in the last video, it's important to take some time to go through these tickets just to make sure we know what we have to do. So in ticket 2, when we're building a shop, then we need a place to store the stock data so that we can keep track of our stock levels. Now, our acceptance criteria, we're going to install Postgres. We're going to create a directory for our SQL scripts, and we're going to create a SQL script that will create a clothes shop database, a clothes stock table, create types, colors, sexes, and sizes. Then we'll create a rollback SQL script and run the SQL scripts to create the database and table. So let's first hit the terminal and get Postgres installed. The easiest way to do this on a Mac is using Homebrew. I'll post the link in the description below. If you haven't got Homebrew set up, pause the video, get it set up, and then you should be good to install Postgres. So let's get started. It's very simple. We just start with the command brew install Postgres SQL. Postgres should automatically create you a user role based on your current profile, and you should have full admin privileges. I've previously set up my role to use a password, which I'll show you how to do in a later video. But if you are freshly installing Postgres, you won't need a password just yet. So once that's all installed, you should be able to use psql in the terminal, like so. Just type psql, I'm going to type my password, and then boom, I'm in. Now the next part, we need to head to our favorite IDE and open our project. I like using PyCharm, and as you can see in the top left here, we've got the clothes shop project that we created in the first video. In our terminal, I'm going to create a new branch off the main branch to work on, so that I'm not committing directly to main. Main branch is what most people will probably know as master, but GitHub have recently changed this. So we do that by entering the following into the terminal. So git checkout dash b to create a new branch, and we'll call it ticket2. Now let's create a directory called SQL and create a SQL script inside called ClothesShop. And dot SQL there to make sure it is a SQL script. And yes, I'm going to add the file to Git. In here, we're firstly going to create a database called ClothesShop. Now, normally you would create your database and your tables in separate scripts so that you could create rollbacks for the database and tables separately. For this project, as it's so simple, we're just gonna keep everything in one script. So we start with create database ClothesShop. Then we're gonna to connect to the database we just created using the backslash C command in psql. Then we're going to create some types that we need for the table columns. We do that by specifying create type and then what type we need. So we need colors to begin with and it will be an enum, an enumerated type. And then we can specify with an array inside of this enum. This is so that we can control what we put into the column. We don't want people just making up words and then sticking them in our table. So for colors, we'll just stick with blue, green, red and yellow. We also need to do that for sexes and sizes. So let's just copy this and paste it twice and then change the names of the types. So for sexes, we're just gonna have male and female. We can get rid of the rest of this. And for sizes, we'll set them as small, medium and large. Next, we need to create this extension, uuid-ossp. This is so that we can use this function, uuid generate v4, and this will generate our IDs for our clove stock IDs automatically. So to do that, we come back to our IDE, and we'll say create extension if not exists, and then we'll say uuid-ossp. Now we can create our table. So we start by saying, Create table, and our table is going to be called clothes stock, and then we'll just add in our columns here. Our first column is going to be our ID, so we'll call it ID. It's going to be a UUID. We want it to be not null, and then we want to set a default for it to be 
this function we were talking about earlier, UUID underscore generate underscore v4. Then our close stock will require a name. So we'll call it close name. And this will be text. And again, we want it to be not null. Test for text. We also want to know the price that we sell our product as. So this will be a numeric, and we also want that to be not null. And also the cost, because we want to find out how much our profits are making. Now let's add our colors, which will use the type colors that we created earlier. And again, we want that to be not null. And the same we can do for our sex. Set our set as sexes, and again, not null. And we can do that for our clothes sizes as well. So we want to use sizes as a type and not null. Finally, we're tracking stock, so we need to know our stock levels in case we run out. And for that, we'll just use a in. Again, we don't want that to be. Uh, when you're creating these tables, don't forget to remove the final comma as the interpreter will fail. And lastly, we'll insert our first item. And we do that by insert into our clothes stock table. And then we have a tuple of our values that we want to insert. Now we won't put the ID because that's automatically generated with a default, but we will be adding a clothes name, the price, cost, the color sex, the clothes size, and the stock level. And then we want to insert the values. Again, we have another tuple here, and we'll call the name of the stock red t-shirt. The price will be 199. Our cost will be 99. The color will be red, obviously. The sex will be male. The size will be a small. And then our stock level, let's say we have 100 t-shirts. And don't forget the suppression semicolon there. Now let's create another script called clothes shop rollback. And yes, we'll add that to kit again. This script will destroy everything that we created in the previous script, but in the reverse order, hence the name rollback. So firstly, we'll need to connect to our database. So we'll do the backslash C and connect to clothes shop. Then we'll need to drop the table that we created, the clothes stock. So we'll say if, this is, if it exists. And then we'll drop the types that we created. So again, drop type if exists. And the first one was colors. Now we can just copy that two times and we'll get rid of sexes and sizes, because they were the other two types. Then we need to switch databases, as you can't drop a database you are currently connected to. So with backslash C, and we'll just connect to Postgres. This is the default database that Postgres will set up for you. And then finally, we'll drop the database. And we'll drop our clothes shop. Now let's run these scripts and see what happens. So if we head to our terminal and change directory cd into our SQL directory, and if you type ls, you should be able to see our scripts. Now to run using psql, we just type psql dash f for file, and we can specify which file that we want. So close shop sql there. Now I have to type my password, but you should be able to run straight through. And there is a syntax error. And why is that? Ah, okay, it's because I haven't specified as a type of enum. So yeah, this is real software engineering, these things happen. So let's head back to our script. Let's just add that in, so that's as, and we'll do it for all three of these. And we'll also add a space here. And let's try and run that again. So PC equal dash F close shop, we'll type my password, and boom, there we go. We already had the extension so let's see what happened. So let's, let me just clear some space here. If we connect to psql, and if we type backslash l, we should be able to see that our clothes shop has been created. So now if we want to just quickly connect to that database, so backslash c, clothes shop, 
And if we want to see what the table that we created looks like, we can do backslash D plus and then specify the table name, which was clothes stock. And we can see the description of the table here. You can also use backslash D capital T and you can see the list of types that we created. So we got our colors, sexes and sizes there. So let's exit this, let's clear some space. Now let's try running the rollback script and see what happens. So again, we'll do psql dash f Photoshop, except this time we call it rollback and we'll run that. So you can see that the script has run. So we dropped our table and we dropped the three types. We connected over to this Postgres database as our user, and then we dropped our database. So let's connect back to our database. So we type psql. And if we type backslash L, we should see that our clothes shop no longer exists. So let's exit out of this, Get some space, and let's rerun our clothes shop script to get the original database set up. So P SQL. And there you go, we have set up our database. So let's quickly go through the definition of done before we commit our changes to GitHub. So we installed Postgres, we created a directory, the SQL scripts. We created a SQL script that created a database, a close dot table and types, colors, sexes and sizes. We created a rollback SQL script that removed everything. And then we ran the SQL script and created our database and table. So it looks like we've got everything done there. So now if we come back to the terminal and we just look at git status, we can see the files that we've added in are here. So to add these files to be committed, we just do git add here, and we can do git status again. And you can see that they're staged now to be committed and we wanna commit. So we do git commit dash m to give a message and we'll say uh, adding SQL scripts to create database and rollback. And then finally, you can push that to your repository. I don't get push and we'll push that. And there we go. Now, if we come to our GitHub, we can see that ticket two had recent changes and pushes. So we can do a pull request here. So if we click compare pull request and down here, you can see the files that are gonna be added. So the two scripts there. So normally what you would do is you would add in a description of what changes you've made. So, so, so changes we've made. Uh, so create SQL script to create database, both shop and table close stock. And we also created rollback to SQL script. And that's it. And then we'll create our pull request. And because we're the code owners, we can just merge the pull request directly. So confirm the merge. And there you go. And you want to delete your branch afterwards as well. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you learned something new. Next time we'll be writing some Python and doing our application setup. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll catch you on the next one.